as a child, I think I had it pretty good. I was in a loving family. Um, I was a happy child. I had lots of uh, great experiences, good friends. I did great in school. I really had, in my mind, no need for anything um, that smacked of religion. In fact, what I saw of religion, I just thought was pretty um, offensive. I thought it was people who uh, maybe like were emotionally crippled or didn't like think, you know, maybe they just weren't very intelligent. Maybe they, um, you know, believed some myth that they were taught and never thought to question it. So I had no need of religion and I basically didn't think very much of people who had need of religion. As, uh, as I was growing up, I met some people who I thought were, were pretty uh, smart and interesting. They seemed to really have their lives together. I thought I had my life together too, but, uh, and they were also religious. And in fact, they um, were Christians who thought that uh, the question of Christianity was also an intellectual one as well as a, one of the heart. And they kept inviting me to church. Uh, I never wanted to go to church. I thought, Ugh, I don't want to wear the clothes people wore to church. I, yeah, I actually feigned stomach aches on Sundays for about six weeks before they stopped inviting me and realized that I didn't really want to go to church. Um, but then they said to me that, uh, you know, it doesn't matter so much whether you like go to church or, or not. What matters is what you believe. Um, have you ever read the Bible? And I said, uh, uh, no. <laughs> I just believed the Bible was wrong without having read it. And it occurred to me that that was actually kind of an inconsistent intellectual position, right? To think that I was um, so well educated and knew about the Bible, but I actually hadn't read it. So I figured I could fix that. So I, I got uh, a Bible and decided I would read through the Bible uh, in a year, one of those Bibles with the little check marks in it so you could check off the four books a day you read or whatever. And so I started reading uh, the Bible, and I realized as I was reading it, actually I started in Proverbs, uh, that there was incredible wisdom in there. And I, who thought you know religious people were so stupid, uh, had to acknowledge that there was a lot for me to learn from what I was reading there. So I read on, and I uh, actually wound up rereading the Bible every year for about 10 years, actually. And during the course of that uh, reading, because each time I read, I got something that I'd missed the time before, uh, I, I think there was a gradual change taking place in me. Um, certainly, I realized right away that my intellectual doubts uh, were largely based on, ironically, on myths of society. Uh, sometimes people accuse religious people of believing in myths. I think maybe the greater myth is in our society that you know, religion is not based on anything solid. And what I was finding was it was, uh, what was in the Bible was actually based on a lot of solid historical events and a lot of incredibly brilliant and wise uh, instruction and knowledge and experience that I certainly couldn't dismiss as non-intellectual uh, or as non-relevant to my life.